ordered. We're getting ready to do our induction. Now, we're going to wait, obviously, the patient's asleep before we get our baseline measurements. Now, uh, it can be mildly uncomfortable. Most patients do not remember getting uh, train of force stimulation in the operating room or even recovery room. So we're going to go ahead with our induction of propofol. Okay, so you've added lidocaine and fentanyl already. Respirations are good. Take a deep breath. This may sting a little bit when it goes in. You want to make sure we can ventilate? Lid reflex is gone. Going to lift the chin and I can ventilate. I'm going to ventilate again. Excellent. Good mass ventilation. Good. You want to check, check and get our baseline measurement? Okay. I'm going to go and push train of four now. Good. Monitor's working. We have good four twitches. I'll continue to ventilate. Good. So it's important to get basically get a baseline measurement because we want to make sure that our, that our peripheral nerve stimulator is working and that we're appropriately stimulating the facial nerve. So once we have that baseline measurement, we are assured of that, we can go ahead and administer a rock uranium. Okay. So we've given a two times ED95 dose of rock uranium. Uh, and we just basically wait here until we get full relaxation before we go ahead and intubate the patient. At this time, I'm going to check another train of four. And we have some twitches. And we'll see over time, in about three minutes with this dose, we'll see a, a fade where we'll see lesser twitches. And we'll do that again. We'll see if we have fade now. And the twitches are less now. We do have fade visually. And in about another minute or two, I'll do a train of four, and we'll see that we have no twitches. And we have no twitches here at all. So continue to ventilate throughout, and at this point then we'd be ready for intubation. Again, muscle relaxations are important. We can obviously intubate a patient without neuromuscular blocking agents, but the risk of sore throat and laryngeal trauma is less if we use, do use neuromuscular blocking agents. So it's important for facilitating intubation in a patient like this.